Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Hello. Is it raining there? Is it raining no. in your town? No raining? No. Okay. Good afternoon, teacher. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Here. Good afternoon, Pamela. Mr. Gonzalez, Melvin, how are you, sir? <laughs> Hello. All right. Lizzie, good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Jose Catena, Sonia. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. So, let's see, Karen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sonia. Mayra. Hello, Mayra. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I send the homework teacher. Yes. Yes, I, I just checked it. Thank you very much for that. Okay. All right. So let's uh, begin with this. Um, <laughs> el día de ayer mandé los, los cuadros de nota. No sé si tienen alguna duda. La podemos resolver ahorita. Sí. ¿Puedo hacerla? Yes, go ahead. Gracias. Sure. Este, la consulta es sobre una casilla que mm -hmm. dice una columna que dice este oral, yes. pero no todos la tienen. Supongo yep. que ese es el último oral que usted mandó. Exactly. Okay. Gracias. Exactly. Que tenemos hasta mañana. Mañana. Yes. Sí, mm -hmm. Gracias. All right, Andrea. Yes, esa era igual la consulta porque estaba viendo que había un compañeros yes. y compañeras que ya tenían, eh, nota. O sea, tenían una nota ahí, ajá, y yes. yo dije, qué raro porque yo solo vi mi nombre, mis notas oh. y me fue al final. <ríe> All ajá, right. yes. entonces, de ahí yo dije, qué raro está esto, pero ahorita yes. que lo acaba de decir, ya recordé uh -huh. que sí que falta esa nota del oral test. All right, excellent, very good. Disculpen, Recuerde, ya. yes. Es la, es la que yo le envié ya. Esa evaluación. A ver, no tengo recuerdo ahorita. Si es la de los hobbies y todo eso, sí. Sí. Ah, ok. Oh, yes. Ok. Esa la Excellent. Bueno. All right, excellent. Now, solo aclarando con las notas. Eh, acuérdense que cada columna tiene un porcentaje diferente, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, puede ser que tenga todas las tareas, pero si todavía no ha hecho la evaluación oral, puede ser que tenga menor nota que alguien que no haya hecho todas las tareas y tenga la evaluación oral. So, varía, ¿ok? No es así que todo tenga un porcentaje per, eh, un, unánime y junto, todo, no. Varía, ¿verdad? Right? Pero igual, si tiene alguna consulta de eso, pues vea su nota y me avisa, con mucho gusto la corregimos, right? Excellent. All right. Hey, yes, Carla. Uh, no, Daisy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Daisy. <laughs> eh, solo quería preguntarle también, eh, bueno, ahí se mira bien bajita la nota, ¿verdad? Pero me imagino que cuando evalúe lo de la plataforma. Y, exactly. Exactly. Y no sé, la participación en clase. Exactly. Right now. La participación en clase, ¿cómo la califica? ¿En inglés o en español? No, in Spanish. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, in English. In English, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> So, mientras más participen, claramente algunas cosas que, por ejemplo, las preguntan en español porque no las pueden preguntar en inglés. No, claro. Este, pero su participación es que esté involucrado o involucrada en la clase, pues que pregunte. Que, ojo, voy a aclarar esto. La participación es, tienen porcentaje de su cámara encendida. All right? Porque si no, yo cómo sé que está participando. All right? Correcto. So, eh, ¿Verdad? Uh, a excepción de los casos que, pues, me escriben al personal, ¿verdad? Y yo, con gusto, yo digo, yes. All right. Thank you, thank you. So, thank you. Uh -huh. All Pero right. la participación también podemos hacerla, bueno, ta, bueno, yo en mi caso trato de medio hablar lo que me imagino o medio sé que, que, que se dice, ¿verdad? Y usted uh -huh. ahí lo corrige. Para los demás que también eh, hablan mucho en español y, y, y Quieren hacerlo, que no tengan pena también, porque yes. todos estamos aprendiendo. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Así es el asunto, right? En la última casilla donde dice promedio, ahí, mientras más arriba vaya esa nota, 
mejor, ¿verdad? Algunos llevan como 1.8, pero porque no han hecho el examen oral. Si se fijan, unos que ya hicieron el examen oral ya llevan 3.30. Y nos falta el segundo examen oral y el exa los, el, los exámenes escritos todos más la participación. Entonces, uf, ahí falta mucha. O sé sea que todo, no, se, no os preocupéis. ¿Cuál es el examen oral? <ríe> I'm sorry. ¿Cuál es el examen oral? Mm, Mr. González, what is the oral evaluation? It is in the WhatsApp. Ahí dice oral evaluation. Está en, en el WhatsApp. Ahí está lo que hay que hacer. Este, ya lo voy a reenviar. Si alguien o si alguien lo puede re, reenviar al mismo grupo, que lo pueda. Porque no, no me había fijado en eso. Yes. Por eso ustedes estén atentos al, al, al WhatsApp, porque ahí mando un codito. Ahí está todo. All right. Bye, guys. <clears throat> so, let's begin. Let's uh, start with uh, this. Let's see here. All right. Is it harder to toot or to toot or to toot or to toot? The letter E. Is it harder to toot? Is it harder to toot? Or to toot or to toot or to toot? All right. Andrea, do you have a question? Teacher, vamos a resolver el ejercicio que hicimos ayer de último. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Very good. So, new words. Toot. Toot. What is it? What is toot? Pitar. Con el pito del carro. Pitar. All right. So, is it harder to toot? Or to tutor, to tutors, to toot. All right? Ahorita no se, no se preocupen por qué es lo que dice ahí. Right now, just repeat. Right? So, let's go one more time right here. Is it harder to toot? That is a tongue twister for today. So let's go. Está bien fácil. It's super easy. Let's go, Carla. Ashala, try. Let's go, Carla. Is it harder to do or to 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 to? Torters to do. Mm, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ahí vamos. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's see another. Let's let's try with uh, Ana Daisy Flores. Let's go, Ana Daisy. Hi. <laughs> okay. I try to, to do. I try right? to do. I try to do. All right. It's it's harder to do or to 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 to. to. All right, all right, much better. Yeah, let's see. Let's see another. Let's see Sonia de Gámez. Let's go, Sonia. It's hard to do, tor, or to do, to, 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 to. <laughs> All right, all right. There we go. Ese es el propósito, that's the purpose, okay? To try one, two, three times, all right, until it's good. All right, thank you, Sonia. Let's continue with uh, Lisi Palacios. Is it harder to do it, Lisi? Let's go. Is it harder to do it or to do to 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 it? All right, much better. Jose Cartagena? It is harder to do it or to 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 is it harder to toot or to to tour? Mm -hmm. One more time, one more time, okay. one more time. Let's go. Let's Is go. it harder to toot or to to tour or to tutors to toot? All right, all right. There we go. There we go. Let's continue with Mayra. Let's go, Mayra. Okay. Is it harder to two or to to tour to 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 to? Um, one more time. Let's see. One more time. One more time. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Is it is it harder to do or to tutor to tutor to to or to tutor 
or the tutor. All right. Uh huh. So, is it harder to toot or to tutor? Do tutors to toot? All right. There we go. Excellent. Let's continue okay. with Karen. Let's go, Karen. Teacher, you can take a peek with that exercise. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all people are practicing in the lines. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's see, Karen. Let's go. Let's try. It is harder to do or to do or to do tutors to do. All right. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Let's continue with um, Daniel Navarro. Is it harder to do or to tour to tutors to do? Or to or to tutor to tutors to do. Excellent. Let's go with Wilbur. Let's go, Wilbur. Is it harder to do or to do to tutors to do? All right. Excellent. And let's continue with Pamela. It is Arden to tour or to tour to talk to tutor stop. To toot. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's continue with um Dominga Gomez. Let's go, Dominga. Is is it harder to do or to to tour to 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 All right. Mm, all right, all right. There we go. No, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's continue with Katia Naharro. Let's go, Katia. Is it harder? Is it harder to toot or to tutor to tutors to toot? All right. That sounds good. Thank you, Katia. Let's continue with uh, Kenny Lemos. Is it harder to toot, Kenny? Is it harder to toot or to tutor to tutors to toot? All right. There we go. Uh, Diana, let's go, Diana. Is it harder to do or to tour to tourers to do? Excellent, good. Andrea, it's your turn. Is it harder to do or to tutors to tutors to do? Good, good job. Uh, Maria Fernanda Cabrera, let's go, Maria. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's go. Is it harder to do or to do to do to do to do to do to right. There we go. Lilian Ramirez. Is it harder to do or to do to do to do to do Good. That was good. Awesome. Reina. Reina Mercado. Let's go, Reina. Rena, are you there? Not here. All right. Let's continue then with the. Oh, with the uh, you there? All right. Ahorita no, no te puedo contestar. Hello. Hello. All right. It's okay. Now we can continue then. Now, please, I'm going to send this, I'm going to send this uh, tongue twister to the WhatsApp so you can practice uh, tongue, tongue twisters like more frequently. All right. Very good. So give me just one second. Let me do that right now. So um, just a second. This is pretty useful. Okay. Eh, los tongue twisters sirven mucho para poder practicar um, los sonidos que no son de nuestro idioma, right? Por ejemplo, the letter T. N nuestra T es como muy, como tomate, like tomate. Pero yo no puedo decir tú. I want to. La T en el idioma inglés es como, plo, se llama plosiva, porque es como... Hace una pequeña explosión en la boca. 
Entonces, si por ejemplo, si yo digo tomato, tomato, la T tiene como, como a, a tirar aire. Right? Tomato. Así que si usted se pone su mano en la boca y no siente aire al decir tomato, lo está diciendo mal. All right? So, tiene que decir tomato y sentir aire en su boca. All right? En su boca, en su mano. All right? So, that's the, that's the, um, the correct way. Now, uh, before anything else, let me take the picture. Okay, there we go. There we go. The picture, the picture. All right. Very good. So we can continue. All right. So um, the exercise number one, it's going to be about the prepositions of place. All right. Este es el momento para que sus dudas de las prepositions queden aclaradas. All right. So prepositions of place. Give me just one second. All right. So let's start copying the question. Excellent. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Now we're gonna do this. This one. This is the exercise that we did yesterday. Okay. Now we are going to complete with the correct preposition in on, at, at, on, in, all right? So, let's see. Este ejercicio un poco, mm, como, como tricky, right? Um, because, because in some cases, the preposition is not necessary, all right? So, ahí, hubiera, ahí faltó la instrucción quizás de poner que en algunos, no era necesaria ninguna de las tres. Ni in, ni on, ni at. Pero vamos a hacer otros. All right, let's go. So let's continue. Let's, let's begin with, with uh, number one. Let me maximize it right here. Okay, so. So we have number one. Monday. Let's have Monday first. So what is Monday? In, on, at. On, 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 okay, um, just a second. On, okay, on Monday, all right? So I can say on Monday, on Tuesday, on Saturday, all right? On Wednesday with the, uh, the days of the week, all right? Now, let's go here with this one. Yesterday, in yesterday, on yesterday, at yesterday. What do you think? In, I in yesterday. In yesterday. yesterday. In on yesterday. It's not necessary, teacher. Excellent. It's not necessary. All right. So for this one, quien dijo que no era necessary? Daisy. Daisy, good, Daisy. Perfect. So for yesterday, I don't need uh, neither at nor, I mean, uh, no, at, on, nor in. Nothing, right? Just yesterday. Now, morning. What do I need for morning? On, in, morning. in at. In, in the morning. In the morning. In the in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Excellent. So, remember, remember that. Be careful with the microphone. In the morning. Um, all right. So in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. All right. La única que cambia es night. Pero digo, in the morning. In the afternoon, at, at nine. Uh, All right, at night. Okay, so, oh, in the evening, in the evening too. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Okay, now. Teacher, it's yes? correct to it's correct to midnight too. At midnight. Yes, yes, at midnight. Mm -hmm. So that is number six. 
Ah, uh, yes, true. yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, three o'clock. What do I need for three o'clock? At. At three o'clock? Yes. Is that correct? Let's see. That is correct. At three o'clock. Very good. Next year. Next year. What do I need for next year? In, on, at, or nothing? No, yeah. Nothing. Nothing? Excellent. I don't need anything here. Right? Oh, Why? No. Let's see here. Nothing. Why? Hmm. Why? No hay una razón por la cual no lleva. Solo ellos no la usan. No hay como, para eso no hay, no hay como una regla gramatical que diga, con este no vamos a usar esto porque empieza con MX. No, no, no lleva. No, 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 no lleva nada. All right. So let's continue. Teacher, yes. Excuse me. Este, yo a mis hijas les pregunto, porque ellas las dos son bilingües, ¿verdad? pero me dicen, uh -huh. mamá, no te compliques tanto, pero ¿en qué podemos bastarnos? ¿Verdad? Como estaba viendo lo del. Uh-huh. O, o como, no sé, o sea, para yes. no confundirme yes. en esto. Eso uh -huh. está correcto. La única cosa, Carla, es que acuérdese que la explicación, la explicación que usted me acaba de dar está perfecto. Si fuera que at, te voy a escribir acá, si fuera uh -huh. at, in y on para lugar. La explicación que usted me acaba de dar es exacta, pero sí estoy hablando de lugar. Pero aquí no estoy hablando de lugar, así que esa explicación queda inválida. Aquí estoy hablando de time. Uh -huh. All right, so it's different. Uh -huh. It's total different. ¿Por qué? Porque como usted lo dijo, on es arriba. Pero aquí no tiene sentido si yo digo arriba del lunes. Right? So... Es, son diferentes aplicaciones. En esta que es time, es on. Ahora, no hay como él decía una regla gramatical que diga, tienen que aprenderse porque tiene la terminación de este verbo. O, no, no hay nada. Aquí hay que aprenderse los de memoria. Y es toda la práctica. ¿Ok? Pero ahora ya sabe que con los meses del año se escribe in December, in November, in April. All right, con los días de la semana, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. All right. Okay. That's it. All right. Excellent. Now, okay. let's go with midnight. What is midnight? Daisy said it. Anna Daisy said it before. It's midnight. Anybody? At. 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 Excellent. At midnight. All right. Now, let's continue with the next one that it's, on, I don't think, I, I don't remember if this word was, oh yeah, forget it. So, uh, on our anniversary, in our anniversary, or at our anniversary? In. In. In? University. On. On? Hmm. At. At. Ooh, we have three options here. <laughs> All right. In the mass, who gives more? Who gives more? <laughs> All right. It's not necessary. Nothing. It's not Nothing. necessary? Hmm. In yeah. this case, it is necessary. But we, if you have other conversation, them. maybe it's not necessary to can omit on or in? No. In this, for this one in particular, Anadaisi, we need a preposition. And the mm -hmm. correct preposition for this one is on. 
on our anniversary. Because on, remember something that is very important. On is for specific dates. Okay. All right. Okay. On is for specific dates. And the anniversary is a very specific date. All right. So last summer. What about last summer? Teacher. Yes. Si solamente dijera anniversary, siempre sería on. O en ese caso, porque dice nuestro. No, it doesn't matter. We need on. On your, lo que pasa es que anniversary, eh, Andrea, ¿verdad? Me ¿O ¿Quién me preguntó? ¿O Mayra? Yes, teacher. Andrea, ok. A ver, voy no a... No lo iniciar. escucho porque hay dos micrófonos yes. que hacen interferencia. Ya, la, ya, la, ya, las, ya les puse mute ahí. Ok. El, la palabra anniversary casi nunca o nunca la vas a ocupar sin un pronombre. Por ejemplo, vamos a ir al aniversario. ¿De quién? Voy a ir a tu aniversario. All right. I'm going to go. Oh, well, I, en ese caso no se necesita, pero, por ejemplo, porque es your. I'm going to go to your anniversary. Pero depende. Por ejemplo, eh, en tu aniversario, I see, on your anniversary, they will, they will celebrate a lot. Right. But it depends on the context, though. Right. But most of the time, we need on, right? Uh, en algunos casos, no. Por ejemplo, el aniversario de Simán. Ahí no necesitas. No necesitas. Ahí digo, the anniversary of uh, Simán's anniversary. So, ahí no, no hay donde poner. On es cuando especifico en el aniversario de tal persona. Ahí sí. On her anniversary. On his anniversary. On their anniversary. All right, so I'm specifying. Entendido, gracias. All right, excellent. Now, let's summer. What about last summer? What do you think about that? On. On. On? Hmm. Last summer, I went to Las Vegas. So in this case, what Me happened with last summer? We no, don't. No. All right, we don't eat. Now, summer, ooh, this is different. This is different. La dos llevan summer, pero this is different. So, for the seasons, we use in. In summer, in winter, in autumn, in spring. Para las estaciones es in. In. Remember that. Now, March. You know the answer for March. Let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, my. On March? In March. In March. All right? Lo cambio a on. Lo cambio a on si tuviera una fecha específica. Por ejemplo, on March 15th. Or on March 1st. Right? Pero si no es specific date, the correct preposition is in. All right. Let's go. Vamos a ir más rápido porque no vamos a pasar el tiempo con toda la clase acá. So, let's continue with noon. What is the correct one? At, at, at noon. Good. At noon. Christmas. On. 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 on or at. at. Hmm. ¿Cuándo uso cada uno? Example. On Christmas Day. Example. Like this. Uh, on Christmas Day, we are going to eat turkey. On Christmas, we are going to eat turkey. Digo, on, on Christmas, nos referimos al día exacto, o sea, al 25 o el 24, en todo caso aquí nosotros, 24 de diciembre. Cuando digo at, nos referimos a la temporada navideña, no al día específico. Mm. All right? For example, ooh, at, at Christmas, Christmas, we celebrate a lot. No digo que día, puede ser el 23, el 24, que reventa cuates, right? All right? So it's more general. But on Christmas is December 25th, all right? It's that particular day, 
All right, so let's continue. The, the 12th century. Um, um, in the 12th century. In the 12th century. In the 12th of April. On, 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 on the 12th of April. On, okay, tomorrow. Um, tomorrow um, no we don't need anything here all right 11 at, 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 at 11 all right night at night, at, at, at night. night. excellent the moment in the, in, the moment. Moment. in the moment. In the moment. In the moment you came here, it started to rain. Okay. 1994. Um, in, in, um, in, 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 Vaya. Voy a mover esto, se va a mover todo. I'm sorry. Pero What mira. is century? Century is siglo. Oh. Um. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me remove this. Evening. In the evening. In the evening. Every day. It's not necessary. Not necessary. Okay. All right. New Year's Eve. That's a very specific day. Oh, so it's on good. September. In. 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 In September. In September, right? Next year. No, All right. Tuesday night. On. On. Excellent. On Tuesday night. Last month. Um, not necessary. Dawn. What's the meaning down? Dawn is madrugada. En la madrugada, como digo. At, on. At, 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 at dawn. Autumn. In. In. In autumn. All right. October 26th. On. 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 Let's see here. On. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Let me mute you all. I'm sorry for that. But okay. So, guys. Esto, como les decía, no hay una regla. Esto es como las tareas de multiplicar. Se aprenden memorizando. All right? Th that's the only way. That's the only way we can, we can, we can learn this, this phrases, okay? So now we are going to continue with the next activity. Uh, the next activity will be about the prepositions. Vamos a saltarnos. We are going to do this. All right, so I have 10 sentences. All right, number one, 1999. Number two, eight o'clock. Number three, 18th century. Number four, tomorrow morning. Number five, next month. Number six, winter. Number seven, 2918. All right. Esto es un año. All right. Un año. 2918. Saturday night, 10 minutes, half an hour. Number one, do you understand these phrases? Do you understand these phrases? Yes. Yes, I do. Excellent. Very good. So in groups, what you are going to do, you are going to, you have, I'm going to give you maybe 10 minutes. 
All right, maybe. If you, con el primer grupo que termine, se acaba la actividad. All right, so, you will have 10 minutes to create, to elaborate 10 original sentences using that vocabulary. All right, so, this is a, 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 a group activity, okay? So please participate. Everyone needs to uh, participate doing this activity. Let me send a picture right now to WhatsApp. And as I said, you have 10 minutes to write original sentences using this. You need to, ahora vamos a cambiar. Necesito que, las, que alguien las escriba en algún lugar, en, incluso en el chat de Zoom me pueden escribir y, que hay, y las manden una por grupo al chat del grupo. All right, no al mío, to the group. All right, to the WhatsApp group, general. Okay, everything is clear? Yes. Hasta donde llamo, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes. Porque yes. de repente nos tardamos. Uh -huh. Yes. So we have uh, 10 minutes, no more than that. And then we are going to come back here. Maybe we are going to read some of them and we are going to continue. Okay, so let's see here. Um, okay, let's, let's see. In group number one, the leader will be Andrea Argueta. In group number two, the leader will be Mayra Argueta. And in group number three, the leader will be Keren Madai. All right, let's go everyone. Let's go to the breakout rooms right now and start working. Let's go right now. Everybody working on the breakout rooms, please, let's go. All right, let's go to the breakout rooms, please. Let's go ahead and work in our teams. ¿Quién les escribe? Eh, yo las puedo compartir. Solo de mail. ¿Quién las escribe en el chat? Ya, ya tengo una, ya tengo dos. Yo voy a compartir. ¿Dónde está el chat? Ah. Bueno, Estas serían, no sé si las logran ver, si no. Sí, las en la. ¿Quién escribe? ¿Usted escribe entonces, Daniel? Eh, eh, si gusta, yo... Sí, eh, okay. voy a... La primera sería My son was at 1999. My son. My son. Sí, es para decir que nació, no, no sería mi también hijo, decir was, born. Was. Ah. Ah, was Ocho. born. Perdón. Was no. born. No sé dónde la podemos escribir. Dijo sí, yo, yo, yo puedo, pero no sé si siguen viendo lo que... Sí, sí, las preguntas las vemos. My son was... ¿Así? ¿Ah, no. Ah. Was. Mm. Was ah. born. Born. Si gusta se las copia. Si quieren Once vayan haciendo la, 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 vayan agarrando dos y dos cada uno. B O our eh, deletrease la. W A S Born uh -huh. de nacer B O R N uh -huh, at, por... el año. Y sí, el año obviamente. Sí. Sería así la primera. Uh -huh. Sí. <coughs> la segunda. The lesson begin at eight o'clock. The last. The lesson o la lección. Yeah. Ah, begin lesson. comienza a las ocho en punto. The yes. lesson es L E S S O N. Begin 
Si quieren, vayan haciendo sí. dos más. Pues para que terminemos luego. Sí, ya, ya tengo yo dos. ¿Ya tienen dos? The lesson begin. Sí. Begin at uh -huh. eight o'clock, lo que dice ahí en la... Ah, en la... Ajá. Okay. Eh, nah. El punto se no lo puedo poner ahorita, pero ustedes saben. Number three. ¿Quién va? ¿Qué era century? ¿Qué es century? Eh, es este siglo. Sí. <coughs> no sé cuál es. Qué ¿Alguien que diga de, 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 de esa pregunta? O de otras que tengan para ir las. Ah, oh, yo la, la ocho, la, la perdón, este, la cinco podría ser. My birthday is next month. My birthday. Uh -huh. Is next month. Once días. No lleva, entonces. El que oh, no, no lleva este. My birthday is. Preposición. Que le escriba él. My birthday is. Net, next month. Next month. El month es mes, ¿verdad? Si no me sí. Uh -huh. mm, no llevaría preposición. No, no llevaría el, el no. No, no. El, in that no. case, in that case, we don't need a preposition. So my birthday is next month. Oh, mm -hmm. it's different. If I say my birthday is next next month on, on? July on July 5th, that's different. But if you say next month, no lleva. Mm -hmm. Incluso, por ejemplo, next year, el próximo año. My birthday is next year. Es otro que no lleva. Okay, right? específico. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. eh, okay. Next, sí. Next, sí. Okay. Okay. Ahí mandé uno, pero no sé cinco y la cuatro. Ahí mandó uno, este Wilber, ¿verdad? Sí, okay. eh, sí pero no sé es... si escribe así. Okay. Teacher, ayúdenos. Yes. Ahora ayuda. All right. Come on. Teacher, Eso tenemos que hacer, vamos. Yes. Oraciones. Ah, okay. Andrea, I'm sorry. Eh, me sacó del grupo y me metió a este. ¿En cuál estabas, Andrea? En el uno. All right. Let me see here. Uh -huh. Con Carla, Diana. All right, let me look for that right now. Give me just one second, Andrea. Let me go back, okay? I'm sorry, guys. So, let's see. My mother was born in 1999. Uy, qué jovencita. All right. <laughs> my own, in lugar de my mother, it could be my sister, all right? Oh, my mother. It's okay, it's okay. So, my mother was born uh, in 1999. Another with eight o'clock. For example, we have English at eight o'clock, for example. We are inventing here. So we have English at eight o'clock. Hagan las, las que puedan. No tienen que ir en orden. Pueden hacer Century las dijo que era. Se me olvidó. I'm, I'm sorry? Century. Siglo. El ah, siglo sí. es ocho. Yeah. Oh. Okay, vamos chicos. In the in the winter is very nice. Raining, raining, como lloviendo. In the winter is raining. It is 
in the winter. In the winter is rain. rain. It's rain. It's or is raining. Ajá, uh -huh, rain. Lloviendo. Llueve. En el verano llueve. En el invierno llueve. Ajá. En el invierno llueve. Lluvia. Sí, porque aquí tendríamos que cambiar el verbo. Uh, o en el invierno helado. Muy helado. It's cool. So, it's uh -huh. cool. It's so cool. Sería mejor. It's cool. It's cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> bueno. Ay, yo no sé. Estoy uh, escribiendo. Rain ya. winter. It's cool. Winter. It's cool. It's cool. Ah. Se le voy a dar de vuelta. <risa> okay. Y en la otra, ¿qué podemos poner? Mm. Ahí también sería in, ¿verdad? Es in. Sí, bueno. pero ¿quién ha llegado a esa fecha? <risa> a ese año. Sí, sí, pero ya 100 años. <risa> ah. El 2000, como el 2918, yo, yo tendría mi <risa> Ya no estaríamos. Ya Podríamos no. poner una pregunta. Ya no. Ajá. Would we like de los in... inmortales. El año. To live, ajá. Would you like to live in. Sure. Algo así, ¿verdad? Bueno. Sí, ¿cuál? está bien esa pregunta. <risa> How would you like to live? Would you like to live in? Pero live del de vida, vea. Ajá. De vivir. Ajá. Okay. Would you like to live? Te gustaría vivir. Vaya, pongamos algo más chévere aquí. Our party is on Sunday night. Maybe. No, on or in. Our party is on Saturday night. Or in. Uh, on. Right, on Saturday night. We finish in 10 minutes. At 10 minutes. No. Terminamos ah. en 10 minutos. Sí. Pero... Pero... Ah, no, la número 9. Sí. <laughs> ten. En 10 minutos. 10 minutes. Ajá. Uh -huh. The work finally in 10 minutes. Algo así. Ajá. Es on, ¿verdad? On, ten. Finish. In ten minutes. Number ten. ten. Finish class. We have Finish. half an hour. ¿Qué? Class. Um, we have... Oh, no. Half an hour class. An hour and a class. Hour class finish. Así sería. Hour class finish. Uh, five uh, five half half an hour. ¿Cómo se oye? Se oye bien. <laughs> Voy a traer, voy a traer el pan y le echamos. Voy a traer el pan. We have, <ríe> have half an hour. Terminamos uh -huh. en media hora la clase. Esa sería la traducción. Uh -huh. was right. We have uh, class, dijeron, ¿verdad? We have class, o ¿cómo dijeron? We have. We have. Half an hour left of class. Left of, of class. Ajá, uh -huh. left of class. 
left the dejar la clase. We will we'll leave in March. In March. <laughs> ¿No? ¿Queda bien? Pero lleva at, ¿verdad? At. At. Half hour. At half an hour, at half an hour of, less of class. Uh -huh. Ay, gente, yo no sé si escribe bien esto. <risa> <risa> ok. Va, entonces, y eso hay que escribirlo ahorita. In you will, después... will prove. <risa> in, in, in you will prove. Ney, ney, participantes, ¿qué? Ney. Ney. Ana Daisy. Ajá. ¿Alguien más? Eh, nombres, no sé si hay que tomar los nombres del grupo. Creo que sí. No, no, creo que no, sí. No, 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 es no necesario. No, 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 necesario, no. Teacher, I just, you I just are... need, I just need the sentences right there. That's it. That's the only thing I need. <laughs> no, ya no vamos. No, así lo voy a dejar para que él vea que le hicimos. Vamos a la siguiente. Ah, uh -huh, <laughs> let's see here. Ay, <laughs> es que no sé cómo borrar una letter. Oh, it's okay. Or, so the sentence and all right it's okay just just continue with the next one it's okay yes yeah um, <laughs> bien. yes algunos errores pero vamos oh, bien <laughs> pero errores de, errores de escritura por ejemplo uh -huh. finish le falta una e all right finished <laughs> i will go out tomorrow morning tomorrow uh -huh. también está le falta una m Yes, All right. Okay. It's okay. Let's continue. Okay. Next month um, is my birth birthday. Next All right. Month. Oh, my birthday is next month. It's okay. Oh. Either, mm -hmm. My birthday is next month. Or next month is my birthday. I no. That's it. I Mm -hmm. Así. No. Es in. En is es in. Oh. Es aquí donde lo usamos. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. ¿Está bien? Yeah. Remove in. Yes, remove it. Quítalo, remove it. Remove in. My birthday is, oh, is, is, is yes. next month. That's correct. My oh. birthday is next month. Sorry. All right. Vamos, vamos. <laughs> All right, let's see. Everybody's coming, coming back. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. More people is coming here. Everybody's here. Okay, ya estamos completos. Excellent. So, guys, esta actividad nos, 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 me sirvió para sondear cómo estamos, porque vamos a entrar al simple present. Es la construcción de oraciones. 
Así que yo necesito que ahora ponga mucha atención. Vamos a ver cómo se forman las oraciones. Porque a veces tal vez tenemos quizás la idea, pero no sabemos cómo organizarla. All right. So this is the perfect class for this. This is the, the simple present. So if you have doubts, please let me know. Okay. So let's go. <clears throat> Just one second. Let me let me share a video with you. All right. This is a very good video about uh, the simple present tense. Um, just a second. Um, teacher. <laughs> Allow me a moment. Me sacó de la clase. I'm sorry. Okay. Estos anuncios de YouTube. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's go. Simple present tense. Okay? The video is about right? So let's go. Let me maximize this. And there we go. Go English.tv. The present simple. How do we form the present simple? Affirmative. Subject. Plus. Verb. Plus. Object. I. Drink. Coffee. Okay. This is the basic form. This is the basic form of a simple present sentence. We have three elements. Element number one is subject. Una oración no puede ir sin subject. All right. The subject can be a pronoun or a noun. All right. So element number two is the most important element the verb i drink coffee i drink juice i drink water all right element number three is the object or the complement all right so we have three elements remember, remember this Number one, subject. Number two, verb. Number three, the object or the complement. All right, let's continue. Conjugating the present simple. Affirmative. I play the piano. You play the piano. He plays the piano. She plays the piano. We play the piano. They play the piano. How do we form the present simple? Negative. The present. Sorry, let me go back to this. They. Okay. Do you see any difference? Ven alguna diferencia? Do you see any difference here? Yes. I play. Yes. Play. She plays. plays. She plays. She plays. And she we play. So we add a letter F. Siempre, siempre que usamos he o she. Okay? Esto es toda la vida. All right? In simple present, when we use he or she, the verb is different. 
play, play, place, play, play. All right. Another example could be I, jump. I jump, she jumps, jumps. Another I watch, she watch. watches. Aquí ya no es solamente una S, aquí es E S. I watch TV. I watch TV. She watches TV. All right? That is the difference. Let's continue. Play the piano. How do we form the present simple? Negative. Subject. Plus. Do. Plus. Not. Plus. Verb. Plus. Object. Adrian. Doesn't. Like. The doctor. Conjugating the present simple. Negative. Negative. I do not play the piano. You do not play the piano. He does not play the piano. She does not play the piano. We do not play the piano. They do not play the piano. We can contract the negative form of the auxiliary verb, do. I do not. I don't. You do not. You don't. He does not. She does not. He doesn't. She doesn't. We do not. We don't. They do not. They don't. How do we form the present simple? Interrogative. Do. Plus. Subject. Plus. Verb. Plus. Object. Do. Elephants. Eat. Grass. Conjugating the present simple. Interrogative. Do I play the piano? Do you play the piano? Does he play the piano? Does she play the piano? Do we play the piano? Do they play the piano? Going Okay, that is the simple present in a video of five minutes. In a five video, in a five minute video. Now, vamos a ir paso por paso. Okay, today we are going to study the affirmative. Tomorrow we are going to check the negatives and the questions. Today is the affirmative. 
tomorrow, the negative and the question. Okay, so let's see. So we have right now, we, we are going to start with the uh, affirmatives, okay? Affirmatives, so give me just one second. Please. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Let me maximize it right here. Okay. <laughs> Affirmative. All right. So what is what is the structure? Who remembers the structure? What is element number one? Subject. Subject. Is the subject. subject. Okay. What is bear, bear, bear. Bear. And element number three? No, object. object. Or the object. complement. Exactly. Is the object or, or complement. The complement. All right. Very good. Okay. This is for the affirmatives. Ahora bien, con el, con el presente simple vamos a tener un problema. Que si nuestro vocabulario es limitado en verbos, vamos a tener problemas. Porque el presente simple es puro verbo. All right? ¿Y qué verbos no sabemos? A ver. How do you say, how do you say, pensar? Think. 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 Nadar. Swim. Swimming. Swimming. Comprar. Swim. Bye. 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 Vestirse. And dress. Wearing, 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 dress, wearing. dress, 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 dress. dress. Uh -huh. how do you say tomar, no de beber, de tomar pictures, take, 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 take. 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 okay, how do you say vertir, de vertir agua, no, vertir, water, mm. no, what was that, take. pour, 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 thank you, pour, P-O-U-R, pour, how do you say mirar fijamente algo? Look, 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 look. look. how do you say mirar en general? Watch, 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 watch. 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 show, see, show. good, see. Ajá. ¿Cómo dices mirar algo por mucho tiempo? Sí. No. 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 Watch. Like a watch TV. Mm -hmm. Like a watch TV. How do you say lavar ropa? Watch. 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 Okay. How do you Pero... say cachar? Catch. ¿Qué? Cachar. Una pelota. Catch. Catch. Okay. Catch. How do you say escuchar? Listen. 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 Listen to. How do you say oír? Hear. 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 All right. Excellent. Okay. Vamos bien. Good. That's good. All right. <laughs> so let's see. Subject, verb, Object. Let's see. Maria. Maria cooks. Maria cooks. Um. Beans. 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 Excellent. Maria cooks beans. All right. I. I cook, cook. beans. Mm. All right. Remember, this is third yes. person. ¿Por qué cambia? Mm. Porque María es? Sí. Third person. All right. María mm. is she. Y los verbos con she cambian. All right. So, yes. María cooks beans. beans. All right. Now, let's see. Another example. Let's continue with he or we, we, we what? Tell me a verb. We what? Learn. Learn. Okay. Learn. He learned. He learned. 
English. 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 Very fast. We learn English muy rápido. Very fast. We learn English very fast. All right? Now, oops, sorry. Now, how do I say... Teacher, for... fast, no lleva T al final. Yes, I'm sorry. Es que está muy grande. Give me, give me a moment. All right, much better. So, we learn English very fast. Now, how do I say, for example, Sofia? Sofia, the same mm -hmm. sentence. Sofia? Learn. Learns, learns, learns English or learns French or learns German or learns Mandarin. Okay, cualquier idioma. French, Mandarin, Spanish. All right, learns. Learn. Sure, learn. He okay. learns. Yes? Question. When you use learn, it's not only for the language. Can you mm -hmm. say learn other things yes. like a cook example, or, or cook she or learns how to cook? Como cocinar. She's cook. learning to cook. She learns how to cook. Or she learns math or math. science. Right? Science is different. You you have you you can use it depending on the context. All right. Teacher, so, teacher, uh -huh. what's the difference? Eh, bueno, en español es coser de cocina y coser con eh, de, de, de costura. All right. Mm -hmm. ¿Hay alguna diferencia en inglés? Yes, definitely. <laughs> you no puedes decir, I am cooking a dress. Hasta me dio risa, Ajá. Es que hay muchas personas de, 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 que, que comienzan o comenzamos en algún momento yes. nos pusimos en eso, yeah. Excel. Y, y pasa. Muy cierto. Uh -huh. So, I have a question. How do you say coser? Any, any idea? De, vest <laughs> de un vestido, pues, no de coser, de, right, you know. Menos mal que soy costurera, sí. teacher. No. Oh, all right, all right. Sí. I forget it now. Uh -huh. Anybody? Confection, teacher. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, eh, casi no escucho la clase porque se ha venido la tormenta bien fuerte. Oh, sé que okay. solo, solo viendo estoy, que no okay. entiendo nada. Ok, lo que puede hacer eh, Dominga, luego puede ver el video de nuevo. All right. Excellent. Sí, yo sé que está ayudando oh. por todos lados. So, All right. So, let's see. Let's see. Ana Daisy, vamos a poner aquí. Ana. Ana. <laughs> So, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dresses. So, cook comida, stove, vestir. All right. Ese es el coser. All right. Thank you, teacher. All right. Excellent. Very good. Good question. Good question. All right. So, let's see. Let's continue. Let's continue with another one. Uh huh. Oh, all right. So let me put it right here. So I need another. Maida, tell me another example of a sentence. You know the structure. Ya sabemos la estructura. Subject, verb, and complement. So, Maida, tell me another sentence with they. They. They sing. Sing. Mm -hmm. um, in English. <laughs> okay. They sing in English. Very good. Mm -hmm. They sing in English. Good. Good. It's a verb. Okay. Now, um, let's see. Kidding. The same sentence, la misma. The same sentence, but using she. Mm -hmm. She's sings excellent she sings in in english excellent good nunca se les olvide que con she he and it se le agrega una s o una es de acuerdo al verbo all right ahora 
¿cómo sé yo que le agrego ES o ES nada más? Para eso sí hay reglas gramaticales. Sin embargo, son tantas, con como nueve, que si ustedes se aprenden las reglas gramaticales, se van a volver locos. Mejor no se aprendan las reglas gramaticales. Vuelvo y repito, apréndanse los verbos. Olvídense de las reglas gramaticales y apréndanse los verbos. Y van a decir, oh, con watch se agrega watches. ¿Por qué? Eso después se lo aprenden si quieren, pero memorícense que con watch en tercera persona es watches. All right. Ahí. Con jump se agrega jumps. All right. No, ya vamos a saber las reglas, pero son un montón. Así que si se aprenden las reglas, nos vamos a volver mareados. All right. So let's go. Let's continue. They sing in English. She sings in English. All right, let's see another example. Selene, number three, Selene, let's give me a sentence with um, we. We. We play. We play football. Okay, we play football. Okay, now, Rina, the same sentence, but with he. The same, la misma, the same sentence. I, I can hear you, Rina, no, no la puedo escuchar. What's the same sentence for? Play, we play football. So what is the sentence for? He. He play. Football. Okay, he. Place like this. Football. Yes. Excellent. He plays football. Now let's see. Let's see one more. Uh, Robert, Rola, Jose Rolando. I. I. Mm, I like this class okay i like this class all right carla ayala the same sentence using she uh, she likes this class beautiful thank you excellent okay. this class all right now let's continue with another example and this is for pamela Another example with you. You. Casi no le oigo por la lluvia, teacher. Oh, all right, all right. It's okay. We can change. Let's go with Wilbur. Let's go, Wilbur. You. You fight. Fight with your brother. All right. You fight with your brother. Okay. Do you know the meaning of fight? Pelear. Exactly. You fight with your brother. Okay. Let's see. Melvin, the same sentence using she. She fights. With your brother. With your brother? Are you sure? Well, <laughs> tiene sentido. Pero si quisiéramos hacer exactamente como esta, ¿qué cambiaríamos? She fights with her, her brother. Oh. Excellent. Yeah. She fights with her brother. However, sin embargo, however, your brother is correct. All right, it's very good. Now, let's see another example. Let's continue with um, Diana. Continue with it. Hmm, let's see. Remember 
that eat is for animals or objects. All right, animals or objects. Okay, so eat. Uh huh. Imagine that we are talking about a dog. Estamos hablando de un perrito. So eat. Dog eat. I need a verb. Okay, I have element number one. Now eat. I need element number two. Eat, eat the comer. Okay, eat, eat. Uh huh. Sería con ese ahí. Mm, why? Because why? he's third, third person. Third person. Excellent. So it eats. It eats. ¿Qué come? It eats what? How do you say croqueta in, in English? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we can we can use the same, uh, like the name of the brand. Can you tell me a brand? Dog Chow. Okay. <laughs> dog, I think it's like this, right? Dog Chow, right? Excellent. So it eats Dog Chow. All right. Now, let's see. Katia, we, the same sentence, la misma. That's, claro que no, Dog Chow, vea. <laughs> because we don't need dog chow. All right, so Katia, let's see another sentence with eat. We we eat um chocolate. Okay, chocolate. Okay, we eat chocolate. Okay, guys. So esta es la forma más básica de cualquier oración. All right, so. We have now touched the, the negative. Tomorrow we're going to study the negative and the question. But let's see. Now, let's let's see some, some examples right here. Give me just uh, one moment. Allow me one moment. All right, let's take a look at this. The rules, the rules, look at this. Rule number one. Tenemos seis. Por eso que le digo que no se, no se preocupen a aprender las reglas. Solo, ahorita solo veamos, okay? So let's see. Rule It's number true. one, yes? Ya tomo la, la foto de grupo. Oh, my Lord. Thank you so much. Y me sonó la alarma y la apagué. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, teacher. Es que no recuerdo que nos haya dicho que sonríamos. Entonces, por eso. <laughs> mm, ya me hicieron dudar. Let me see. Tomó una al inicio. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Ya tomé. Pero habemos más para allá. Vamos a hacer lo mismo. Vamos a hacer una excepción. Tomemos la ahorita. All right. <laughs> okay, smile. Let's go. Let's go. Excellent. All right. All right. Very good. Déjeme ver si la verdad tomé. Sorry about that. Yes, it's just right here. Okay, so let me remove this one. Mm -mm. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's continue with this one. Um, oh, do you have a question? I don't know. Melvin? Una consulta. Yep. ¿Por qué en el video no mencionaba la tercera persona en el subject it? What do you mean? Like, ¿por qué se saltó el it? I don't know. Ah, no, no lo menciona. Yeah, no lo menciona, pero es, está ahí. Yeah, I we're going to start with this. Teacher. Yes. Pero, I think it was because it can play the piano. Oh, all right. Yeah, 
Maybe because of the verb. That's true. Quizás por el verbo. Yo no puedo decir, bueno, aunque hay perros que pueden tocar el piano, right? De los que llevan a concursos. <laughs> All right? So, yeah, most likely it's because of that, because of the verb. Okay? Y si se hubiera referido a un objeto mm. en la oración, no aplica la, la regla, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Yes, but uh, pero qué objeto podría tocar un piano? So no, no. No, o sea, does... me refiero a la oración de it eats. I don't get it. It is. Oh, it Ajá, eats. De... Ajá, yes, it in that case, yes. En el perro. Mm -hmm. Pero si hubiera sido un objeto. Oh no, we can use. We need to use another no. verb. Yeah. Yeah, we need to use another, a, a different verb, all right? So just take a look at this right now. This is just like the examples of the of the rules that we have. So let me see. Uh, Melvin, please read rule number one. If the verb ends in S, S. Who's reading? All right. H, Pamela, you're reading? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's, it, that, go ahead, go ahead. Let's go, Pamela. And rule number two is going to be for Melvin. So let's go, Pamela. Let's go. Number if, one. If the verse ends in S, S, X, C, H, S, H, or the letter O, we at uh -huh. e at e e third person excellent we at es por eso les digo yo que no se van a estar aprendiendo todos los verbos que te vienen en s s o en x c h s h o no no funciona así all right ustedes van a aprender que keys example keys what is the third person for keys? Keys. He says. All right. Jesus. So Maria. Maria. No hay ninguna Maria aquí, ¿verdad? No. Sí. No. Maria Dios. Fernanda. Oh, Maria. Okay. <laughs> Maria. He says her boyfriend. boyfriend. <laughs> All right. Maria. He says her boyfriend. No puedo decir Maria keys. Uh uh. Maria kisses her boyfriend. We kisses goodbye. We kisses goodbye. Mm. We kisses without e s. All no. right. No. We kiss goodbye. Entienden qué significa we kiss goodbye? Como un, una despedida. Un beso de despedida. Exacto. Ah. Que, nos de, que nos despedimos con un beso, all right? We kiss goodbye, all right? So, <clears throat> she kisses, we kiss, all right? So, another example. Look at this, another example. Um, I go to the supermarket, okay? I go to the supermarket. But Melvin, but Melvin go or goes? Boys. 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 Goes. Melvin Boys. goes Boys. to the cinema, the supermarket, to the park, to the bank. All right? So that is the third person. And that is rule number one. Esa es la regla número uno de seis. Digo yo que no se preocupen por las reglas. Esto es de memorizar. El inglés básicamente es de memorizar mucho, mucho. All right. Y luego va saliendo bien naturalito, ¿verdad? Carla watches TV. Lilian jumps very high. ¿Ok? Um, Daniel studies English. I study English, he studies English. All right, that's it. Tomorrow we are going to continue with the negative and the question. All right, 
Y mañana terminamos con negative and question. Mañana tienen el sábado y el domingo para hacer el examen número 3 y 4. All right. So. Fin de semana. Yes. All right, guys. Andrea. Teacher. Teacher, podría decirse entonces que lo correcto sería que cuando nos aprendamos los verbos, nos aprendiéramos como el de la tercera persona. También. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes, that's the best practice. All right, Carla. Teacher, solo una consulta. ¿Usted no tiene algún link que tuviéramos un traductor mejor que el de Google? O sea, porque a veces yes. queremos traducir una palabra y, y luego que no da la traducción como es, da, da errónea. O... ¿Usted, dice, usted dice para, para traducir oraciones largas. Oración o palabra, porque a veces el significado es oh. como que no va... Como mm -hmm. que no concuerda y no yes. es. Mm -hmm. I, will, mm -hmm. I will send you one. I will send okay. you one in the chat. All right? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. you're welcome. Uh, Karen, another question? Sí, teacher. Um, el video que vimos de las estructuras de las oraciones está en la plataforma o... No, no, that's different. I will send the video too, okay? And I will send it to WhatsApp, all right? Excellent. Okay. okay, guys. Gracias. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow at four. Enjoy your afternoon. Enjoy the rain. Okay. okay thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.